Guys, then I thought what I would do is just give you like recommendations. My top 10 things to do in Koi Samui, what we did. And we weren't so long, we didn't stay so long in Bangkok. So I'm only going to do a top three for Bangkok. But Koi Samui from, not worse, because nothing was, we never had a bad day, guys. You saw, you heard Hayden, he said, no bad days. Um, but from good to better is in the number 10 spot, what I would recommend. Overlap Stone. I would recommend number 10 spot, Overlap Stone. Definitely go have a look at that um, viewpoint. It's beautiful. Overlap Stone, it cost us, you, you pay. That was a, a, there's an admission fee, 50 baht. And what's nice about it, but it's also not so nice, is that there's not, they, they let people go onto the, over the bridge and um, they're in that area one by one. So no one's gonna be in your photo, guys. Um, so that's really nice. So you're gonna have a nice photo all to yourself and the view all to yourself. But the problem is the people before you <laughs> take 20 million and 105 photos and they want that Instagram photo so they go, every nook and cranny they will take a photo in so you sit there waiting and watching them so just be a little bit considerate guys if you're gonna do that get your shot i was so cross with hayden because he i wanted him to stay back while i walked over the bridge so he could get the whole stone and me and the view but he was walking with me, so I never got a picture of the whole stone and me. It is what it is. So tip for you guys, if you're gonna go to Overlap Stone, wait, have someone on the other side of the bridge and you walk, take the photo from there, not right from the front, okay? In my number nine spot was our day trip to Ang Tong. National Marine Park. It was beautiful, guys. I loved it. And I just, I, I didn't do the hike. That, that's the only reason this is on number nine, because I didn't want to do the hike. Um, I, was, I got a little bit like stressed out at that place because you, you know, we're, we're getting off the boat, you don't have shoes on, you have your slops or whatever. Then all of a sudden the guy's going straight onto the hike. Now you have to put your um, tackies on and it was just very stressful for me. And I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna go actually. So what I would recommend is if you're going to do these day trips, what's really nice is um, at the, when you're waiting for the boat, when, you, when they've taken you to the place where you pay and have your breakfast and waiting for the boat. They sell these, they sell like these little things that you put on your, in your, your phone into so that you can take it in the water. That's actually how we filmed a lot of our footage under the water. It's like a little plastic thing that you seal and water doesn't come into. But they also sell these like cute little shoesy, socksy things um, for snorkeling and scuba diving and all that. So you can be on the boat, you can be in the water, you can hike with these shoes. You don't have to sit taking them off on, you know, switching your tackies or whatever. So I would really recommend if you're gonna do a day trip to putting those shoes on, putting, buying those little shoesy things and it really did help us. It, it made our Koi Tao trip so much better because we didn't have that in Ang Tong. But then when we went to Koi Tao, we were like, I want that because I'm not going to struggle again putting on my tackies to go up on a hike. So it was definitely worth it. I would recommend that. Then in my number eight spot is Pig Island. We went to Pig Island. It's so cute, the little piggies. The water is so blue, beautiful. Do take money with you guys. We didn't have money because we were on our uh, scuba diving trip. Shame that the guard said, well, he'll give us money, he'll give us money. And we were like, no, it's fine. But there's a little bar there so you can have lunch and have drinks or whatever. Um, we weren't there for too long. We just, you know, enjoyed the water a little bit. But if you are gonna stay a little bit late longer, do take money with you. Um, yeah, it, it was such a cool place. I love that. In the number seven 
best thing to do in Thailand, in Koi Sumui, would be Koi Tao. What a beautiful place. Um, day trip, we snorkeled. We, the, the waters was just, the, that was the bluest water that we saw. Um, and that viewpoint was just amazing. Hayden had his coconuts. <laughs> And it was just a really, really nice day out. The food that we had, that lunch there, even Hayden enjoyed it. Hayden is not too, um, I won't say he'll try new things. He likes his things that he knows. So when we go overseas, he doesn't like trying new things. Um, but he actually loved the lunch on that trip. So that was a good trip. We loved that trip. Number six is a fisherman village on a Friday night. Fisherman village on a Friday night. They have this great market, uh, food market and whatever market, nighttime market. And it's just so vibey on a Friday night. We had gone to Bow Pits on another night and it wasn't as vibey as a Friday night. So definitely if you're gonna go there, do try and make sure you go on a Friday night. It was just, it's so nice. They have like people playing music and it's just, it's such a vibe. You do definitely have to go there on a Friday night. And then number five is Coco Times. You do have to go to Coco Times. We loved it there. All these places you get to go and see a fire show, but it's just so nice with like the, the bean bags on the beach, watching the fire show, having a drink. Guys, do make a reservation. Actually, all restaurants make a reservation. That's a tip, tip that I do suggest. You, if there's a particular place you wanna to go to, make a reservation. And even if there's not, if you just wanna go, you know, walk around and see a place, you're not gonna be able to go to that place if you haven't booked in advance, a, a day in advance. Um, so yeah, December day, December, throughout December, specifically after, like after Christmas, that time, you're not gonna get a, a place unless you've booked, so just book. That's what I would suggest. Number four is the Jungle Club. Guys, I loved that place. That place was beautiful. And I would actually maybe recommend even going like sunset time. I don't know what the sunset would be, but can you just imagine like having cocktails sundowners oh just that was just amazing like you just felt more relaxed being there it was amazing i definitely definitely recommend going to the jungle club my number three recommendation that you do definitely have to do in koi Samui is going to silver beach guys that beach is beautiful i loved it I could stay there all day and they've got like nice restaurants around so you can go have a cocktail with amazing view. It was really, really beautiful. It does get crowded though. Um, so go early, get a good spot and just enjoy. Oh, that's like, I just wish I could be back there. Our number two most favorite thing to do in Koe Samui was going to the beach clubs at night. Guys, Ark Bar was amazing, but more than that was Scene Beach Club. Oh my gosh, that place, that fire show was just insane. It was amazing. It was the best fire show we saw in the whole, anyway. <laughs> so definitely make sure you get to Scene Beach Bar and watch the fire show in December. I, they have a sharp fire show every night um, after Christmas during that time. So definitely make your way there. It's definitely worth it. And our number one most favorite thing to do in Koi Samui that we definitely recommend that you have to go and do is the Nam Wing waterfalls, specifically number two. Waterfall number two. Waterfall number one is in one area, very easy to get to as you park, there it is. Waterfall number two 
is in a different area guys it's not in the same area you have to drive somewhere else park somewhere else and go to waterfall number two and then you have to hike up to waterfall number two so definitely take tackies trainers or sneakers whatever you want to call it take them with because it is quite a hectic climb and yeah it was just it was beautiful we went there super early so there was no one around um, be careful obviously you are at the top of a waterfall guys so make sure you are careful and you don't do anything that if you're not feeling comfortable don't do it you know just just be safe but it, it was beautiful, it was amazing. We got to stay there for about an hour up there all by ourselves. I would definitely recommend it. How, how often are you on the top of a waterfall by yourselves looking at this like forest? It was just, yeah, it was amazing. Number one thing to do, definitely do it. Then in Bangkok, my number three thing to do in Bangkok is the train and the floating market. I've grouped them into one because we did a tour. So it was one tour where we went to both of them. And I, and I, do, I did like doing the tour because we were in a bus. They took us to the places. You can do it by yourself. You can go to the places by yourself. It's a very far journey. It's about an hour to get to the actual place so it was it was long it was a long journey so i'm glad we went through the bus we had our little breakfast boxes we were chilling on the bus it was really really nice and the, the guide was able to tell us you know like I'm, i'd be scared to go to that trade market by myself actually he like prepared us beforehand you know he told us that there's like red tape or whatever um there at the trade market so when the the siren goes off, you know, step back, you need to be behind the red tape or the red line so that then you know you're at a good distance. So yeah, so just so you know, if you're ever gonna go by yourself, stand behind the red tape, guys, because the train won't hit you then. Literally, that train comes here. It's very scary, it's very, it's quite hectic, but it's so cool, very cool experience. Do do that and the floating market as well. It's just a different experience that you're never gonna get anywhere else, guys. So it was amazing, really, really amazing. That's in the number three. Number two is our Mahanakon Skywalk experience. You definitely have to do that, guys. All I wanted from Bangkok was views. That's all I wanted, like, um, yeah, I just, like you you imagine bangkok as having these amazing huge skyscrapers and so that's what i wanted i wanted to be on top of the world watching having these views of these buildings and just oh and mahanakon skywalk is definitely where you're gonna get that you go around the whole building and you have 360 degree views of bangkok it's amazing do it my number one Thing to do in Bangkok that I definitely recommend is going to the rooftop bars. Oh my gosh, sunset, you know, at night time. Oh, it's so beautiful. That's where you're gonna get the views. You know, they're expensive, especially the Labua one, you know, 600 rain a cocktail. I'm still getting over that, guys. But, oh, it was, it was beautiful, beautiful. I think our favorite was, I think Hayden said scene was his favorite. I think possibly Vertigo Moon Bar was mine. I don't know, scene was also really cool actually. Scene was more laid back. Um, actually, maybe I think scene was my favorite. So it went from Labua, only because it's like really freaking expensive, but it is beautiful. And then Vertigo Moon Bar, and then scene Rooftop Bar. Um, so definitely do make your way. And what's nice about the scene, uh, scene rooftop bar is that it's right there by Anantara. That it was there at an Avani. So we literally just crossed the road and we're at a hotel. So that was very, very handy. But yeah, so it's so nice being on top of the world at my time, seeing all the lights and it was beautiful. That is what I wanted from Bangkok and that's what I got it. Definitely do that.
Was there anything that I regret doing or wouldn't do again? Um, I don't regret anything we did. We loved everything we did. What I would say is the um, river cruise is, it wasn't bad guys. I'm not gonna say that it was bad. It was just not what we expected. As I said, I wanted views. That's what I wanted. And that's what I thought was what you're gonna get on this river cruise. You know, just having a different, on the river, seeing Bangkok from the river, from below. I thought I was gonna see buildings everywhere, lit up, you know, pretty lights. But that's not, when you go down the river, you don't really actually see much. Um, you see a temple lit up every now and then, and we got to cross a bridge that was lit up, which was really pretty. But other than that, there wasn't really much to see. So it's not about the views, it's more about the dinner and the show. Um, so if that's what you want, then definitely you're gonna have an amazing time. You know, there's guys singing and you dance and it's really nice. And the, the food is, is really good. It's just not what we expected. So not that I wouldn't do it again. It's just, I wanted the views and I would rather do a rooftop bar than that. But as I said, if you wanna do the food, you wanna be on a boat, you wanna have the experience of having a live band, while you're on the river, that is definitely then for you. Guys, and that is it. That's my informational video for you guys. If you wanna go to Thailand, there you have all the information. Um, if you wanna know anything else, please let me know. Go down into the comments, send me a comment, send me a question, let me know. I'll definitely get back to you. I love Thailand. I hope that you go there one day and experience the things that you that i've experienced and if you do ever do that let me know i would love to see photos you know know what you think know what your favorite part was if you've been to thailand before let me know what you enjoyed um also let me know if you've ever been to krabi or chiang mai and if it was worth it and what you enjoyed um i would love love to know about that guys Please remember to subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and I will see you all again soon. Our Thailand journey has now officially come to an end. I'm very, very sad, but there's other things waiting for us, guys. Don't be disheartened. We will, we will be getting to other places sometime, hopefully soon. Stay tuned and we will see you soon. Bye.